When I tell you someone had bicycled across the world, you may think, that's crazy. That could never happen. But in 1887, that's exactly what did happen. Let's find out the story behind it today in Daily Sports History. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide back to the history of sports as we go deep every day. In the 19th century, the world was a vastly different place. There were no cars, no paved roads, mainly run by horses. And when the bicycle was invented, it changed the course of the world forever, allowing for long-distance travel without a horse and with a precursor to the automobile and the motorcycle. The bicycle as we know it today evolved over time, but its origins can be traced back to a thing called the running machine, invented by Karl Drassus, a German baron, in 1817. He invented a two-wheel vehicle the rider propelled by pushing their feet on the ground, similar to the new toddler bikes that we have now, where it has no pedals and the toddler can push on the ground as they learn to ride the bike. Over the years, the bicycle evolved, adding pedals, drive chains, and bicycles with equal-sized wheels. There's a long history of things that have been done on the bike, as the first bicycle race was in Paris in 1868. It was a 1,200-meter race, and the winner was an Englishman named James Monroe. The first long-distance ride was a 50-mile ride from San Francisco to San Jose, with a rider named Thomas Stevens, who completed this on a pennyweather bike, that is the one with the wheel that's big in front and a small wheel in back. The very first Tour de France was in 1903, won by Maurice Garin, covering a distance of 2,428 kilometers. The first woman to ride across America was in 1895. Andy Londonderry was the first woman to complete her task across America. And the first bicycle advocacy group was formed in the United States in 1880, the League for American Wheelmen, later known as the League of American Bicyclists, fighting for bicycle rights on the road. These achievements came a long way as the bicycle evolved and continues to to our story today. We go back to a name that we've already heard of, Thomas Stevens, the first man to do a long distance ride on a bicycle. He was, and he always had the goal of riding across the globe. He was not your typical adventurer, born in London in 1854, but he had a love for bicycles. In 1844, he moved to the United States, settling in San Francisco. There he was captivated by the idea of the global bike journey. He had already done the long distance ride. Now he was looking for the perfect bicycle for his ride around the world. He commissioned a custom built penny weather bicycle. Again, this is the bicycle with the large wheel in front and the small one in back. Hard to imagine someone making this journey on one of those, especially when you remember there were no paved roads and many places didn't even have roads. April 22nd, 1884, Stevens set off on his journey from San Francisco, heading east across America, going through deserts, mountains, and the unknown. As we said before, this was not a smooth journey. There were not very many roads. There was extreme weather, encounters with wild animals, and unfriendly locals. Yet he continued to go. He would not be deterred. He would in general follow the the same parallel across the world. He made his way across the United States, Europe, Asia, 
in the Middle East, also taking the Silk Road into the heart of Asia, all while doing so, doing letters and journals. There was no time limit on his journey. When you're the first, you're already going to be the fastest. So he took his time, but never gave up, fixing things along the way on his bike, falling down, getting back up, and showed perseverance to never give up, especially in strange lands that he'd never been before and didn't even speak their language. And three years later, in 1887, he finally landed back in San Francisco, having accomplished his goal as being the first person to bicycle around the world, showing incredible personal triumph and will of the human spirit that many bicyclists still have to this day. Now you may wonder, how did he navigate the oceans? That is a good question. He did not. He rode on a boat across the oceans, across the Atlantic and the Pacific. And you may say, well, that's not going around the world. But he went around the land of the world. And in my that still counts. Thank you for listening to Daily Sports History today. We hope you enjoyed, and will give us a like on wherever you're listening to. And we'll see you tomorrow for more sports history. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW group. Void prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.